Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Superhub. So this is a fantastic hub plugin which has got loads of cool features, uh, really cool items that have very awesome effects, uh, a really nice GUI which has so many different things, uh, many config files so you can customize it for your server and a ton of commands. So I'm going to try and go over this as quick as possible uh, because there is so much to cover. And first of all, let's cover the items. So the super popper, um, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, when you draw it all the way back and shoot someone, they will go flying with a nice particle effect. And it says in chat, you've popped and their username. Then you have the super kicker and the super brawler. So if you switch between them, you will hear a nice noise. And obviously, you can brawl people in the hub, which is uh, cool, like that. And then obviously we have server info which you can edit in the config file and uh, just write about websites and what your server's about and other things like that. And finally we get to the hub menu. So this has got loads of features and I'm going to remove all of my modifiers so I can show you what it does. If we go into the paint gun, uh, it gives us this really awesome paint gun. So if we right click and fire at blocks, it will uh, change the colour for a few seconds before going back to the original block. And you can left click to uh, change the mode, so there's cannon range, short distance, hub, etc. Now this works very similar for the mob gun, you can left click to change the mobs, so let's go to bat, bat's my favourite, and um, they all get struck by lightning, and then disappear. So yeah, a lot of fun, really really like that. Uh, and then hub trails, that's pretty straightforward, you've got those different trails here. Um, and you've got some more trails and particles over here. So that's cool. Then you can get pets. Uh, this is really, really nice. And it's got a really cool colored name tag, which I really like. And obviously it will follow me about, um, which is cool. So you can remove it there as well. Hub specials, uh, we've got player stacker and we have um, the player hider. So obviously we want to unhide my other account so we can stack him on my head. Uh, once he turns it on, so um, let me just do that quickly, and then obviously we can throw him about, and you can grab loads of people on your head, and maybe go to a mountain and throw them all off. Uh, if we go back into the menu, we can um, look at hub disguises, and obviously you can change yourself into any uh, creature you want. And um, if we go into where is it, hub specials. Navigation menu, you can set uh, all these warp points um, via commands and then players can teleport to them. So now we're going to move on to the commands. Um, there is a lot of them, so I'm going to go through the most important ones. So first of all, let's set some warp points. So the way we do this is SH, set, and then uh, some of the warp points. There's hub that you can set. There is market. There is games. And there is lobby. There might be another one. Um, but what you can do, um, you can set multiple lobbies. So if we go over here to Skyblock, uh, we can set the lobby for Skyblock afterwards. So players can just do lobby and then Skyblock and they will be teleported to it. Or if they want to go to the original lobby, they can just do that and they'll be teleported here. So that's a really cool feature. Now we can actually do SH staff and see who is um, what rank. And we can also add staff by doing staff, add uh, their username and um, either uh, mod, admin, owner, VIP, or donator. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I think, yeah, there's a list of all the ones that you can add. There are all the roles. Um, and then if we do SH staff, um, there's the VIP. So that's, that's really, really cool. So players can see who is what rank. Um, next, we will be moving on to um, SH toggles, links to the command, or super hub toggles. There we go. So all of these can be changed depending on uh, the world you're in. So if we do SH mobs for example, uh, you can enable and disable mobs in a particular world. So at the moment I've only got one world on, but if we, I find another world called test, um, we could change it uh, for that particular world. And there are so many things you can change. Maybe you don't want players chatting in the uh, hub, so obviously you could remove that. Um, and whatnot. So make sure you got permission. I don't seem to have permission at the moment, which is quite annoying. But uh, it's fine. You can change so many things. So obviously drop, uh, you would want to um, deny that in, in, in the world. So hopefully you shouldn't be able to drop, um, 
drop things unless you roll. So, uh, yeah, you can have that back. Uh, let's go into a few more commands. Um, there's some pretty nice ones. If you do sh void, I think is the command. Uh, if you have a hub that's on top of a void, I don't know if this is. Um, no, it's not. But um, what they will do, if you select hub, is when they hit the void, they will uh, just teleport to the hub point that we set earlier. Uh, so let's test that now. Let's go into the void and respawn into the um, into the hub. So that's really cool. And um, there's a few more things that we need to have a look at. We can do sh join and hub. So players will join to the main hub or lobby or whatever. You can select which ones you want. Another really cool feature, uh, which I know a lot of people will like, is the ability to either set it to night only or day only. And you can even um, lock the weather by doing weather lock as well. So it will lock as clear. Now this is a really awesome feature because people usually use other plugins to do this, but it's, uh, it's involved in the plugin. So that's cool. Um, there is lots of other commands that um, like sh mute and uh, you can lots of teleport commands, game mode commands, and other uh, normal commands that you would want as well. You can also clear people's inventory if you wanted to. So this plugin has basically got everything you would ever need. Um, and that means people get a new inventory when they join, so maybe they got the wrong items or something. And obviously there's automated broadcasts, which you can edit in the config. Uh, there's a few other things. There is speed boost and jump boost that you can uh, set using this command. And you can enable and disable it in the world, uh, like we looked at earlier. So um, I think that may be everything in-game. Uh, let me have a look. There's a lot more commands on the wiki. Uh, make sure you have a look on there so you know everything that you need to look at. And uh, if we do hub, we can teleport back to the hub. And I will see you when we get in the config. Here we are in my server folder. And if we go into plugins and have a look for Superhub, uh, we can see there are nine config files that we can edit. So um, let's start at the top. That's probably the best place to start. And this is quite a small file, uh, thankfully. And what we can do here, we can change uh, the world prefix, uh, the colors, and other things. So players with a nickname. Um, let's just remove that. I don't really like that before a nickname. And um, throughout all the config files, you might notice that one is equal to true and zero is equal to false. Um, I've never actually seen that before, but uh, it's quite an interesting way of doing it. And down here, uh, if you do forward slash nickname, you can obviously change your nickname if you have the permission for that command. Uh, and it's saved in here, so you can edit it in the config. Uh, if you wanted to, so it'll be Jim without the 007 on the end. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Uh, you can ch change this to however you want. And you can also change it per player as well, which is uh, very, very awesome. So um, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, let's move on to the other one. So the, um, the video isn't too long. Now this is very, very long, as you can see. Um, up here it says 1 equals true and 0 equals false, which I mentioned. And um, you can enable and disable modules and whatnot. So maybe you don't want disguises, because that might confuse some players. You can set that to 0 and it won't work. Uh, you can also disable um, commands that override. So if you have essentials as well, uh, that also has feed, fly, and nick. So these are overriding at the moment. If you put a zero here, it would use the Essentials fly uh, rather than the fly in the Super Hub. Uh, down here, you can change sounds if you wanted to. I would leave that alone because they're fine. Um, and there's also effects when you use the Kicker and the Brawler and all these other ones. So that's pretty cool. You could change them if you wanted to. And there's a link here to all of the uh, particles. And down here, uh, you can change protection seconds um, on the player join because there is the uh, brawler class which I showed you and you want to give players enough time to run away so I'd set that to 5 seconds and uh, yeah 
Then down here, uh, very similar, you can enable and disable all of this. So uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. Now we set this in game, you can obviously do it in uh, here, but I prefer in game, it's much easier. You can ignore particular worlds, which is a great feature because many of you who don't have multiple servers have the multiple worlds and you could disable it and maybe creative and factions world because you wouldn't want it in there and uh, found world so th these are the worlds that uh, it's seen that are in your folder and these are the worlds that it actually uses so only world and down here is um, what we were looking at in game the toggles where you can enable and disable things so item dropping we set that to false and we also looked at uh, some other things as well jump boost so you can change the amount in here and you can enable and disable commands as well so always allow the commands um, all of these and always block commands obviously op give and game mode and um, when you join the world your inventory will be cleared so that's very straightforward uh, pretty cool next let's move on to the hub items file and um, this works in a very similar way. You can enable and disable various things with um, one and zero. So stacker auto on, that was uh, zero by default, but I would prefer to leave it on so players can hop on your server and um, start stacking your players. Uh, down here is um, everything to do with the fun menu, so you can change colors and names, but I'd leave this alone if I were you. And um, the paint gun, it actually ex excludes particular blo blocks. I don't know why you would want that, but um, maybe you don't want them painting the whole server, so you could remove them if you wanted to. And then down here, it also uh, says permissions, um, so make sure you give players that. And if we scroll the way down, past all these, um, all these mobs, uh, you can change the custom menu which has the shop and market and help and other things that we set um, in game. And obviously you can change the item if you wanted to. So gold underscore ingot, for example. And you could change the slot, but make sure two slots don't overlap because that would cause issues. Um, if we scroll down some more, uh, there is the popper and other things. So drop zero, you can't drop it if you're not op. Uh, give on respawn, true. Uh, move in your inventory, zero. So these are really nice features. So keeps players in line. And the info book, which is uh, very, very cool. We can uh, change the pages and add more pages. So uh, page two, we're going to add three pages. Author is going to be Jim. And the title is going to be um, Mindplex, blah, blah, blah. And uh, then you can just write no spamming etc rules and other things that you'd want make sure it's spelled correctly otherwise that would look quite bad and uh, page three as well so you can do this as many times as you want and the law um, obviously very simple you can change color codes and add format tags other things and O oh, for uh, italics please read me and obviously, same principle applies. You can not move it and you can't drop it. Then if we go into the language, uh, this is quite an easy one. I wouldn't touch this if, if I were you. You can uh, change the prefixes and colors. So pretty straightforward, like that. And uh, actually down at the bottom, I believe I saw the broadcaster. So you would probably want to change this, uh, definitely. So it actually says something relevant. Um, visit our website and other things, donator packages are now available to buy. Other things, visit our website, and then make sure you end with that so it doesn't bug out. Enabled, yes, delay in seconds. Um, it's pretty straightforward that, so I like that. Message of the day, um, see, I use um, the default one in the server properties uh, down here. This is the one I use. Um, but I made a better one, which you might see in most of my videos. Uh, if I go in here and go into this server properties, uh, this is the one that I use um, in a special way. So it hasn't got like AND7 and AND8 colors. It's, it's 
a bit weird. I might do a tutorial on how to do that sometime. Uh, but if we go back to um, plugins folder, you can obviously change that. Uh, Super Hub, language, and you can uh, also edit the play account message so when players hover over that. Uh, so that's really, really nice. And an animated one, there are other plugins that do that, but um, I haven't done a tutorial on that yet. So locations, I wouldn't edit this because you set this all in game, uh, which is pretty cool. So we didn't set shop, but obviously you could set that if you wanted to. And we set main hub and all these markets we set. So that's pretty straightforward. Permissions, you can edit the permissions. So um, yeah. If you want players to, well, I say players, admins, to be able to change this, you give them this permission, um, which will give them all of this. And admin, that will give them ability to change all of these, and user will get the ability to use the bow popper and the menus and other things like that. Uh, now, if we go into pets quickly, um, you can either allow or force pet spawn. I'd set that to one. This is fine. I wouldn't edit that at all. Uh, restrictions. So um, you can restrict players from interacting, breaking, building, and dropping various blocks. So seven, that's bedrock. Um, and obviously you can add a meta tag if you wanted to. Uh, so TNT is at 46. So um, always allow build, maybe not TNT. So um, always deny pickup, so TNT. Always deny drop, TNT as well, and yeah. So you could do this to make sure players don't um, break and build <clears throat> with TNT. And finally, the scoreboard, which you saw, uh, lots of people said was very cool. Uh, you can obviously change it to your server name, Mindplex. And animation rate, so zero, very frequent, one normal, two delayed, so zero, very quick. You can change the refresh rate as well, uh, pretty straightforward. I like that the um, all the config files have this above each um, each section so you know what it is about. Um, I wouldn't mess with this much but you can uh, change the titles and whatnot. So I believe this is the color code um, so that would be gold and bold. <laughs> that rhymes so uh, yeah interesting way of doing it. I've never seen it like that before and you can change the website. Make sure you go do it from the correct place. So the backslash XA7 plus the color code and then whatever you want. So you could change this to youtube.com like this. And uh, down here is uh, the scroll message that pops across, uh, which is uh, pretty interesting the way it goes across like that and the way it's edited. Maybe it could be changed in the future. So I don't know whether this is the most effective way of editing it. Um, it's kind of confusing. And then um, down here you can change the scoreboard title as well and um, enable and disable it if you wanted to. So yeah. And I think that's everything. So it's a really big plugin. Uh, I've tried to be as quick as I can. How long is this? Uh, 11 minutes, crikey. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's the video. Hopefully it's helped. Um, very straightforward. If you need any help, just comment down below. Um, cool down. Oh, that's, that's nice. So you can add a 20-second cooldown so people don't keep spamming it. Um, and, yeah, that's the plugin. You can download for free on uh, Bucket, which is amazing. It's updated to 1.8, 0.3, and 4 as well. So, uh, yeah, subscribe, like, comment. I'll see you next time.